Alright guys, this is uh, my first time making one of these videos, but uh, you know, just bear with me here. So literally three minutes ago, this post was made. Um, partial PC maintenance and enforcement action, 8th of May 2018. And um, this is what Walker had to say. They say, um, hello survivors. Today's enforcement action will commence at approximately 12 p.m. PST. And we expect this to last approximately four to six hours. The servers affected by today's enforcement action can be found here. And here they list off a bunch of servers. Um, I'm gonna put an image on screen right now, showing you guys what um, what what tribes live on these servers. And then uh, I guess we'll uh, we'll talk a little bit more about um, what's going on. And then they say. As a result of today's enforcement, five tribes will have their structures and teams removed. Eight accounts will be globally banned, and a further 27 global bans have been reduced to temporary bans based on additional analysis, which expired today. This action concludes an investigation where the violations included aimbotting, undermeshing, and direct association with others who have violated the code of conduct. We are aware that there have been request for further details regard regarding our enforcement actions when possible. We'll share what we can, but in order to most effectively execute against players who choose not to follow our code of conduct, we believe it's best to hold our cards close to our chest. Some other points we wanted to address. Investigations are concluded and punishments are decided on before we announce that an enforcement action is taking place. So what they mean by this is before they're actually, you know, spending that four to six hours on these servers and, you know, banning these accounts and stuff, they have already made up their mind, sort of, um, or already planned out what, what's going to go down. Cheating, by all accounts, is something we take very seriously. We're constantly working to improve and refine our investigate ah, our investigative and enforcement methods in order to be fair as possible. After further examination, we've decided to reduce the punishment in a small number of cases, turning them from permanent global bans to temporary. When reporting players or tribes, please make sure to use the appropriate channels. PC players can be reported via our Report Abuse Forum, and console players can be reported to our support team. Uh, that's kind of it's kind of weird how they have two different places for uh, what you call it to report players, and you know. I, I just sort of figured that they would have like one place and then, you know, assign some people to, you know, handle both console and PC, no matter like how they judge the two platforms, you know, probably be easier for them, no? And then they go on to say, it's unfortunate that innocent players can get caught up in enforcement, but we're confident that the primary side effect of our process is to lose, is the loss of access to servers for the duration of the enforcement. Let me just read that again. But we're confident that the primary side effect of our process is the loss of access to the servers for the duration of the enforcement. I actually don't know what they mean by that. Uh, primary side effect? As in what? Other than players being banned, tribes being dev wiped, dinos being killed by spawned in level 450 alpha T-Rexes. This is what they see is the most painful for players not being able to join a server for four to six hours i mean wildcard do you really think people play your game for four to six hours hello and then they could move on to say we hope that this adds some clarity on the matter we look forward to ensuring a fun and fair arc for all thank you for your continued trust patience and ongoing support studio wildcard all right i guess it's now time to go into um the servers and what drama sort of revolves these uh these servers I, th I think i said that right you know what basically what's going on with these servers why they're being investigated why they're being dino wiped structure wiped and players being banned um all right moving on to scorched earth 36 um this is a berry seal server and uh i think another server on here that actually belongs to berry seals uh island 2 so about maybe like two three weeks ago um berry seals claimed to have meet ren bldx hero um and uh, the story behind this is 
a couple of Barry Seal members, uh, somewhat new, I guess. I, I guess you could say that. S somewhat new members. They uh, ended up meet running BLDX Hero, but they went with a guy named Bullock Chef. Um, I think I said that right. And he's known for, I guess, meshing almost every single tribe, uh, like Mega Tribe in Ark. Uh, PC at least and and Bullock Chef I guess offered some some members of Barry Seals to meet run BLDX Hero but the members of Barry Seals didn't know that that you know Bullock Chef meshed the cave and put down beds for them in order for them to spawn in and you know basically meet run the cave but Bullock Chef actually did a Twitch live stream I wish I like recorded it and stuff so I can actually show you guys but he did a Twitch live stream uh, sort of exposing you know like the voice comms and what they were actually doing and actually showed him like in the mesh with you know sleeping bags and how he got the beds down and all you know he was basically exposing himself and these Barry Seal members uh, meet running this cave and the, these members wanted to meet run BLDX hero or at least the majority of the members I'm not gonna I'm not gonna say who they are but the majority of the members wanted to meet run BLDX hero because they have something against BLDX hero you know their vengeance against BLDX hero clouded them from the thought that hey this bullock chef guy he's fishy as fuck we shouldn't be going with him you know they just wanted to hurt BLDX hero I don't want to say in any way because that just means that they wanted to mesh now obviously they didn't want to mesh obviously you know, Bullock Chef did what he did and sh sort of just sugarcoated the whole offer to Barry Seals. But this goes back to the whole, um, what the fuck? Oh, it was League of Legends. Uh, right here. Walker says, it's unfortunate that, Walker says, it's unfortunate that innocent players get caught up in enforcement. Now, I'm not saying that these players were innocent. During the live stream, some players were actually exposed for kind of being in on the meshing. But the actual meshing part of the cave and actually getting the beds down was done without any of the Barry Seal members being associated with Bullock Chef. Um, it was only until after the beds were down that he actually invited them to the tribe and, you know, they all got in there and yada yada yada. But, um, of course, as Walcard also states up here, direct association with others who have violated the code of conduct um, will receive I guess punishment and um, now even though that the meshing the you know the placement of beds and you know basically all of the like the the fishy cheaty stuff happened without the the work of the Barry Seal members they still um, you know join up in tribe with Bullock Chef they still went through with this this fishy meat run in Bullock Chef's live stream on Twitch. Um, you can actually hear some of the members saying, "Hey, let's kill the water dinos to make it look legit." And uh, that was honestly, I, I don't. That, that that basically just sealed sealed the deal. That you know that guy just dug his own grave. Um, as as far as I know. Uh, these members who did do this did not mention anything about mesh um, to the leaders. They kept it hush hush, and you know, two weeks later, Bullock Chef uh, goes ham in Salt Discord and goes ham on Twitch and just starts exposing. And uh, you know, now now all these members or most of these members are being memed over because you know. They get this sick meat run, and you know it was it was clear that somebody you know it, it didn't have to be dumb. It was somebody who meshed the cave to actually make it meat runnable almost, and of course you know that was Bullock Chef. So as far as I know, these members of Barry Seals have been kicked, but you know what they did was technically I guess associating with a mesher, and so. Barry Seals is now paying the price for what some of these members have done and they're losing their Scorched Earth and Island server. Now 165 is T's Island server and we actually wiped it. I uploaded two videos on them and they've been doing really good. Now one out of two things are gonna happen here when it comes to T. 
one the server rolls back and we get banned two t gets dino and dev void or structure wiped i mean and the same goes for their t scored start server 371 and now asia reg 104 this is the server a t aimbotter was actually streaming himself aimbotting now who do we all know that's done that before uh, I'm, I'm gonna just let you guys to uh comment down below if you know who that is but um yeah you know anybody not cool i don't care if you can fidget spin not cool now remember although wildcard has said this in or the, you know this little paragraph right here how they say five tribes are getting uh dino and structure wiped and eight accounts are being globally banned and then 27 are being reduced to temporary bans uh things can change you know although t is being dev wiped right here who knows maybe they'll get am amnesty again and they get their servers rolled back you know now with these dev wipes uh happening uh in nowhere soon hello four to six hours um i'm gonna try my best to actually get into any of these servers and try, try to see what i can i guess scavenge uh, although i'm not playing arc you know can still always keep some items up in the cloud and um you know I'm, I'm still gonna play arc i'm just not gonna play it as hard as i was before you know i um i would play for let's say like 20 hours straight i mean i defended bldx uh 370 first and then right after that i joined ppg uh to raid t and i was you know those were two raids or you know two uh wars i guess and you know it kept me up for 20 hours and i don't i don't want to do that <laughs> uh, you know Although wars are fun, I don't want to do that. So, um, I'll try my luck with some uh, League of Legends. Alright, and I got two more things to talk about here before I go. Uh, the first one comes from Landcast. This was supposed to insult Discord. Uh, the wipe on T is nothing more than a publicity stunt, by the way. Considering T has some sort of access to the servers and can load any old save they wish to. And they let Cobra wipe them. Devs now looking into their servers is probably nothing real. They'll just play under a different name or a different server. So the last thing I want to talk about here is a statement from Garo, the leader of SEALs. We do not condone cheating. Someone was just leaking our Discord because they don't want to play with cheaters. Everyone who was involved in that mess has been removed from the tribe indefinitely. I want to make that clear. We do not support the actions of the players who meet ran that cave with Bullock. If you do not... Eh. If you don't think that we handled it properly, you can get the fuck out. Or if you have a brain, we can keep killing it. Thanks. Let's get it, boys. Alright, uh, I'm gonna go neck myself now. But uh, if you enjoyed the video, be sure to drop a like. And if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel for more content.